Reactions after a report of Peter B sending to internal beggars back to the state in 2011 surfaced online. The surfacing of a report detailing former Anambra State Governor Peter Gregory B's actions in 2011 has ignited a wave of reactions among social media users. The report shared on by your Narigas official ex handle highlights obeys deportation of beggars in from Anambra State back to their respective states. The revelation gained renewed attention after Peter B commented on the recent deportation of citizens from Moshu State by Lagos authorities, expressing a shock and concern over the matter. Onanaga seized the opportunity to point out what he described as obese incurable hypocrisy, referencing the former governor owned deportation actions in 2011. And he did this. According to an Anaga post, P2B depart, deported 29 beggars from Anambra State, a more reminiscent of Lagos State recent deportation incident. The report cited by Onanaga contributed to leadership detailed the Anambra State government warning to street beggars, particularly those exploiting children for arms. He stated that 29 women, accompanied by their children, were arrested in Oka and Onich and subsequently repatriated to their home state of Eboin and Akwaibon. The resurfacing of this report has sparked debate and discussions across social media platforms with users expressing a range of opinions on obese actions and the implications for governance, ethics, and social welfare policies. As this discourse unfolds, it underscores the enduring impacts of political decisions and the scrutiny faced by public figures. Bias post on Twitter resource. Peter B started deporting Nigerians in 2011. Peter B has displayed the incredible hypocrisy again over the decision of Lagos State to send some machine citizens back home. Obi actually began deportation of citizens in 2011, which Governor Fashala copied in August 2013. And he made this post in reference to the post Obi made, which said, and I quote, I am deeply saddened and shocked by the recent reports of the deportation of citizens, mostly of a shoe state origin by Lagos State authorities. This is not merely... A coincidence. Some 11 years after the deporter in chief is displaying hypocrite again, here is a report by leadership newspaper Far From Oka on December 1st, 2011, by David Chidi Eleke. The Anambra state government has issued a warning to all street beggars, especially children, used by their parents to beg for arms, to vacate the streets, or be arrested. 29 subject men who displayed their children as strategy for getting arms have already been arrested in Oka. have already been arrested in Oka and Onitsha and repatriated to their home state, Eboy, and Akwaibom state. The state's commissioner for women, affairs, and social development, Dr. Ego Cordelia Uzoide, disclosed Friday in Oka when a middle-aged woman was arrested for begging with nine children at various points in, at various points in Oka. Now, a reply to this, somebody reads to us, reassuring that trade the post, sir, Obi shouldn't be a priority now. There's food inflation. There is cyber security. There is levy. There is cyber security levy again. Fuel and dollar flip flopping. These are the issues we should be addressing. Obi is not in any government appointments now. Daddy, please talk on pressing issues. Another opinion. I thought they said the presidency won't engage Obi because it's not relevant. The only reply article. The heat is on and Obi is becoming more relevant. Another com commented. So you're quick to become, debunk anything related to the political matters in the country, but look away when policies that affect the citizens are, rule, are ruled out. Keep at it too. Another commented, if you're in love with P2B, please come out and tell us. Another opinion, Minister of OB Information has spoken. Another commented, leave P2B alone. Advise the government on how to make life better for the citizens of Nigeria. The thing is, even these things have, have come out and have screamed my lung out. I'm saying, this is not why you were made the special advisor. The last time I checked, your special advisor for information and strategy. Why are you not advising the, gov the government? Why are you not coming out, dishing out a what's it called? Why? Huh? Why are you not doing that? Because it, to me, it doesn't make any sense. Eh? Anytime Peter will come outside, Bayo Nanoga will come outside and, you know, he's going to come and start saying or ranting some things. In the process, he's going to forget what he's supposed to do. 
It does not make any sense. Yes, OB is not relevant. OB is not relevant. And what are you doing every day? Okay. Let's keep watching. At the end of the video, this thing going on, huh, let's see how long it is going to take. Because if you ask me, those in government who say they are so interested, if they are so interested in making Nigeria work, if they are so interested in chasing and making sure they make policies eh, that is going to better the lives of Nigerians, I don't think why this should actually happen. All right. And the thing is, the way this man come out, by your nanoga comes out, as in... All right. So you're quick to debunk anything related to political matters in the country. But look away. Do you understand? This is that. These are the issues. The one way concern you, where we say it's supposed to come as I can't talk. You understand? At least you will have him. All right. If you're in love, another person said, if you're in love with Peter, be tell us. Because it is only when you're obsessed about something that you come outside and you start talking about that thing. And it does not, it is not healthy. That is not a healthy obsession. The obsession that are quite healthy. But this one, this one reeks of, uh, what's it called? It doesn't make any sense at all. I feel as a government, uh, work, um, as an appointee of a government, you should do right, do well. All right, the same minister of for B information has spoken. This is because Bayonanigo has. All right, at the end of the day, everything, everything, everything will, will we will understand where this one they come from. Hmm. Huh? And this particular news is going to cost a lot, a lot of people to come outside. What people will be say they not be a be fans. What people will be a be fans. All right. So let us do what? Let us keep, keep looking. The resurfacing of this report has sparked debates and discussions across social media platforms, as expected, with users expressing the range of opinions on obese actions and the applications for governance, ethics, and social welfare politics. As the discourse unfolds, it underscores the enduring impact of political decisions and the scrutiny faced by public figures. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.